Hello everybody and good morning. It's about six o'clock in the morning here, so I thought time to get ready and to try to a new exciting look for the day. The main reason for that is because I've totally screwed up my sleeping pattern and woke up at one o'clock in the morning. Anyway, I'm feeling really naked. You may be able to see that I don't have any mascara on for the obvious reasons that I'm going to be testing a very special mascara in this video. This is why I always say like I need to wear mascara because if I don't, you can really, it looks very strange. My eyelashes are so light that it looks really weird and sticks out strangely if I don't have mascara on. So anyway, um, before I get started, I need to say a massive thank you to Martin, if you're watching this. Martin, who has sent me a huge amount of beautiful things from my Amazon wish list. You've spoiled the shit out of me. I am not worthy. Oh my God, thank you so much. I mean, also like, this necklace. This is one of the first things to arrive. I've wanted this necklace for a long, long time and I have probably worn it like every day since it arrived. Fucking thank you so much, Martin. You were amazing. You were way too good to me. Way too good to me. I am not worthy. Uh, one of the things, I'm pretty sure he sent me this, is this has been on my wish list for a while because I really wanted to give this weird product to go. I really don't know if it's gonna, what it's gonna be like, but I, I, I saw one of those, you know, Facebook videos, those kind of viral trend thing videos. Girls putting this mascara on it just, and it just got longer and longer and longer until it could like hang down, <laughs> hang down their cheeks or like stand out really far. And I thought, I wonder if that works. It's a brand I've never heard of. It's called DDK. I think the idea behind it is it has some sort of fibers in it that stick together and extend your natural lashes. Uh, so it's in a very large box, so let's open it up. Okay, so inside the box there are two tubes. How does this work? Are these both the same? Are they just like different sizes of the same thing? Whoa! What is that? It's like jelly, okay. Mm, it's got like a little fluffy brush. I think there are instructions written on the back, but it's entirely in Chinese. I'm just looking at it like expecting that somehow the words will turn into words I can understand. Maybe the internet can furnish me with some better information. Okay, I found some instructions on the internet. I think I know what to do now. The first step it says is to curl your eyelashes, which I don't have an eyelash curler because I feel like I've never needed one. I feel like my eyelashes already kind of go up that way, which is kind of nice I suppose. Weirdly the second step says to apply your normal mascara. Okay so we're gonna get nice and close in here. Hi, let's get nice and close and friendly. So the first step is to apply my usual mascara. It says it doesn't have to be a fancy one but okay. How about I just, I'll just try that with one eye first shall I? I'm so confused as to why the first step for applying a mascara is to apply a different mascara. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> Next step is to apply the Goo. Look at it. <laughs> what is this? This is going on my eyes. <laughs> I'm so excited. It says to use a generous amount of the gooey stuff. Oh, wow, and it really is gooey. It's intense. Kind of poster paint sort of smell. Squint the eyes closed so that none of the fibers fall in. And this is the, this has the fibers on it. Okay. The website did say something about clumping. It said to use a brush, like a, 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 an eyelash comb, to separate them. Eyelash combs always come with sets of brushes, but I never use them, so I'm not actually sure if I've got one. Not an eyelash comb in sight. So far it just looks really messy. A. So let's continue. I can feel the little flakes in my eyes. They can only be good for me. Ooh, we're getting a bit of length. I'm really wishing for the first time in my life that I had an eyelash comb. I don't know how well you can tell, but it's it's very, very clumpy. Okay, I found a little hair comb, so surely this is safe. This is weird. Another layer. Oh, <laughs> I wonder how many uses you can get out of a bottle if I have to, you know, keep applying layers of it like this. So this is a lot more effort than I would normally put into applying mascara and it has taken quite a long time just to do one eye. Having to comb my eyelashes is quite frankly weird and um, but I feel like this is where most people would normally 
stop. We have lengths, they are black. They don't look that different than when I just apply my normal mascara. But you know, I like to wear false eyelashes. So I'm hoping for some extreme results here. So we're just gonna keep going and uh, see where we end up. My lashes are starting to look like spiders legs because they're so fuzzy. They are definitely longer, but I feel like this is a lot more effort than one should go to. I mean, just wear false eyelashes. It, it only takes like a few seconds to put them on. I don't know how long this has taken now, several minutes, and I'm just doing the one eye. And I'm making so much mess, like I've made a real mess of the tube and it's all over my hands and it's all over my face. I just decided to have another look at what other people have said about this product or like some other YouTubers I just clicked on a random one and they seem to have come with instructions like a little paper instruction leaflet which mine does not have and also with a pair of tweezers and mine didn't come with tweezers either but it says that you're supposed to be like tweezing the lashes together and twisting them and mm. ah <laughs> I didn't Okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have a go and see if that makes any difference if I try and take three lashes or something at a time and this is way too much friggin' effort. You know what? I think I'm ready to give up with this eye. I think what I'll do is I'll move on to the other eye. I'll start with the different set of instructions. I'll just put only this one on and we'll try the tweezer thing. It's really, it's really like glue. What I don't understand is if you're supposed to separate them, why on earth does it have this little, you know, actual comb in the mascara, like most mascara wands do, which is supposed to separate the lashes, like, you make no sense! I'm sorry that my camera keeps going out of focus, it's because it's dying. You know, I don't see why these fibres and the actual mas liquid mascara can't just be combined into one thing. My lamp died, so I've spent the last, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes just kind of going over this, these lashes, the top and bottom ones, again and again and again. The amount of effort and time that that took, it doesn't look very good. It's very, very messy. I used a lot of product. It's all over my hands. It's all over my mirror. It's dribbled all over my face. And I wasn't able to achieve the crazy long length that I really hoped for. I feel like Maybe if I wanted to sit down for another, god look at it, it's absolutely glued everywhere. <laughs> I wanted to sit down and maybe try to keep doing it for another hour or so, I might make them a bit longer, but nah. And, uh, honestly, I, I've got so many floaters in my eyes and it feels kind of uncomfortable. I'm gonna go take this off uh, <laughs> before these make their way into my sinuses if they haven't already. And just write this off as a bit of a failed experiment. I'd, I didn't, I don't mind them for the bottom lashes because I kind of like that spiked messy look for bottom lashes. Wearing false eyelashes on the bottom is pretty uncomfortable, it doesn't feel very nice. Most of the time I'll just draw them on with like a little shadow, I'll just draw on bottom lashes to make it look like I have longer ones, which sort of works. But yeah, like I said, for the amount of time and effort it took for just kind of okay, um, I think I would rather have just stuck on a normal lengthening mascara and a pair of false eyelashes because that takes a few seconds. My expectations were unfortunately not met. I, I feel like I've seen other people have better results with this stuff, but maybe I'm just not lucky that way today. Anyway, well, it was fun. It was a fun way to start the day. I'm going to film a favorites video next. This product is probably not making its way into my favorites video for this month. God, I, I cannot believe how much mess there is. It was so like, like thick black glue goo. And it's, it's everywhere. It's just mascara. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and have not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Join us, you know you want to. And as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, stay amazing, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>